Hey YouTube, this is Rockstar Steve here with another game review. Um, this time, this review will be a little bit shorter, not because of like time restraints or anything like that. I just wanted to speed things up rather than have like hour-long reviews or anything like that. Like last time, it seems like a lot of you aren't watching my reviews. Just, just here or there, you know. Uh, I'm making these more for myself, you know, and so these are games I actually enjoy. If you guys want to watch the videos and help me out, then that's great. If not, I know everybody got a lot more busier things to do, you know, with being inside all day. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, uh, this game is Pain Redux. Uh, this, this, this code was sent to me. Uh, I was just playing where I did get this game for free. But this game doesn't cost that much, I believe. It goes on sale like most of these type of indie games. Uh, Assuming it's probably like under twenty dollars, which isn't that much, and it's pretty decent for this type of game. I don't say that very much. Usually, I say like, "Oh, this should be a bargain." Kind of game. No, 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 no. Uh, I thought the game was pretty decent. Um, there's still lots of parts of the game I'm still exploring right now. But that's just, just a way you want to think about it, as far as going as far as like all the worlds that this game has to offer. Uh, I just played enough of the game that I felt that, you know, I saw enough of the game that I was like, I don't need to really go further than that. Of course, if I wanted to go further than that and earn like, a platinum or whatever trophies I have left in this game, I could do that. Um, but yeah, the basic, uh, that's the goal for gameplay. Um, I don't know if you see on screen the little Kong or little block that you have. That's you, you need to control it with uh, the left analog stick and you use X to kind of slow, well you use X and, and the analog stick to kind of slow down time to angle where you're going to go next to get to your goal. Um, I didn't understand that at first and even with the tutorial I was like, what? Where's the paddle? Where's the thing? I control the ball? Hey, uh, that doesn't make any sense. And once I go over that concept, I'm like, oh, okay, well, since I'm the one controlling the direction with, like, the wall or peg or whatever you want to call it, um, this should be easy. I just aim it, fix the door, and that's it. Once I got that mindset that, okay, I'm in control of this thing, I just need to aim it, bounce off the wall, get to the goal, that's it. Once I got that mindset, a lot of the levels just became just where you got that point. Uh, the later levels got really confusing only because I started to lose like uh, track of like the kind of the rules of how things work because the rules of uh, how things work started to change like uh, what part of the, uh, the background is the level and what isn't that came very confusing to me so I don't know kind of like a note to the developer uh, Kind of show like a big difference between what is the background, what isn't. It, is, it did become kind of confusing at some point because it's like, is this the background or not? That we're not aiming for that or whatever. But yeah, the, the gameplay is pretty simple. Once you get the rules of uh, the game, what you're supposed to do, and how many shots you have to get to the uh, the end goal, which is like to the coin, then you should be able to easily beat um, group through this game. Uh, okay, so gameplay, graphics. Okay, yeah, graphics. It's very simplistic. It's very sharp, though. You know, that. I'm sure it can look even better for those of you who may have PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X with a 4K uh, display. I do have a 4K display, but uh, I don't have uh, any of the Pro systems. I just never, I don't know, got around to getting one. I know it doesn't make any sense because this way in the game, I just haven't gotten one. But yeah, it is, like, I was just using some, like, upgrade to something like a scooter or get the Pro uh, S4. I decided to get more upgrades to my uh, computer instead because it got cheaper and I didn't have to wait for a sale and all this other weird stuff with the consoles and everything. Of course, I didn't really feel like selling my console that I have now, so there's that. 
So if anybody's wondering, I do have a base PS4, like the Slim right now. I guess I, I technically upgraded to my other OG PS4. I have like the Slim. It does run a little better. I do notice my PS4 revving up the fans a little bit while right playing the game, which seems odd. It's like this game shouldn't be pushing the PS4 that hard. So maybe something's not optimized. I don't know, but I didn't see any struggling or any problems with the game. Game seemed to run like a champ. Um, if you, things you, um, you probably won't notice me actually playing this game. This game was running that fast. I actually sped up the, the footage, so if you guys are wondering, wow, this game runs like crazy. Is there like 200 frames per second? No, it doesn't run that fast. It runs like 30 frames per second, something like that. So keep that in mind when you're actually playing the real game. Uh, but yeah, gameplay, graphics audio it's like um old techno 90 streets of rage house tech um i don't know lo-fi like lo-fi like the, the, the genre is like a chill laid back type of music kind of all those genres kind of mixed up into like the audio tracks they're playing so you can be like, sit back chill when you're playing this. But I, sometimes I got frustrated. I got kind of mad. I was like, oh, this, this track doesn't work for me. I need to change this track. You know, it's really pissed off. I need to get back, like, relax from the game. But then the music will play again because you just failed the, uh, the uh, mission or whatever. It's like, ah, oh, okay. Gotta get used to this. But yeah, the music's pretty good. Um, I feel like I never have a problem with indie games. Like any game, like if the game itself is terrible, like you still want to jam out to the music for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, this is not really an indie game. It's made by like a major studio, I believe. So, uh, it's still like it, this game is not terrible either. It seems so this game is pretty. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to the last, but yeah, this game's not terrible. But yeah, the, the audio on here it really got me hooked. That's why I kept playing. Like I wouldn't gave up playing on this game. Probably like the third or second world after start. At some point, it's like oh my god, this game's really mindless, it's pointless. I can just tell them like, hey, it is what it is type of game. I just don't really spark my interest. I played as much as I possibly could. Sorry. I just kept going and going and going and like, okay, this game's getting pretty good now. The music's getting better. All right. This is the ish, you know. I you know what I really want to say, but you know, this is pretty good. But yeah, so gameplay, graphics, audio. Um, you can pick it up or not. Um, hey, when it's on sale or whatever, or if you get lucky like me and developer sends you a code or whatever, hey. Redeem that code and play it right away. You may not think it like, yeah, this is not really my type of game. I was thinking that too, right after jump. I was like, a puzzle game? I was really in the puzzle game. It's kind of the same thing when uh, I started playing like Blind Men as far as like a visual novel. Like, oh, I'm not into these type of games, but I gave it a chance anyway. So I was like, okay, whatever. See if I enjoy it or not. But yeah, this is. Definitely one of those games I wasn't sure I was going to like at all. Because at first, you know, it didn't really hook me, but later on, the music kept going, the puzzles start kind of getting kind of fun. And I felt like I was building up a skill set versus just having luck. But later luck, the later levels felt like I was getting lucky. It wasn't based off skill anymore, so I was like, eh, I don't know about that. But yeah, this is my review of King Rika. Uh, this is definitely a pick me up if you get for cheap or not keep cheap, but you just get it on sale. Um, a lot of variety in it, a lot of callbacks to the older games. Uh, the music is pretty good, pretty, pretty hype. So if you're not really enjoying the puzzles, at least the, the music should get you hyped to at least try again. At least. But anyway, that's my review for Only Ducks.